Hello and welcome to my.homecampus.com.sg. Let's solve this question on multiplication with regrouping in the ones, tens and hundreds. Okay, the question is, Ryan has three packs of 547 cards each. How many cards does he have in all? Okay, let's try to understand this question using models. So one pack has 547 cards. So then how many will three packs have? Well, three packs will have all of these. Okay, and that would be equal to 547 plus 547 plus 547 or 547 times 3. Now there are two ways that you can solve this question. You can either use addition or you can use multiplication. Now since this lesson is on multiplication, we'll obviously use uh, the multiplication way. Okay, let's look at how to multiply 547 by 3. Okay, as usual, we'll have a place value chart in which we'll show the visuals of how multiplication happens. And on the right side of the screen, we'll carry out our working. Okay, the first step of multiplying we know is to multiply the ones. And in this case, multiply the ones by 3. So we have 7 ones and we multiply that by 3. That would give us 3 sets of 7 ones. Now, 3 sets of 7 ones or 7 ones times 3 is equal to 21 ones. 21 ones obviously need to be regrouped because it's more than or equal to 10. All right, so we regroup them and what we get is we get two sets of 10s. So what we do is we take those two sets of 10s and put them in the 10s column there. Okay, what we have left is then one ones, right, in the ones column. So let's look at the working then. Seven ones times three is equal to 21 ones or two tens and one ones. All right, so that's the first step. The next step is to multiply the tens by three. Now in our case, the number has four tens. So we put the four tens there. Now four tens times three would be equal to three sets of four tens, right? So four tens times three is equal to 12 tens. All right, now let's look at this tens column here. We have two tens that we got from regrouping in the previous step. All right, these two tens here, and we have 12 tens here that we got from multiplying four tens by three. So altogether we have two plus 12, and that's equal to 14. So we have 14 tens, okay? 12 tens plus two tens is 14 tens. Now 14 tens obviously need to be regrouped, and we regroup them into 10 tens and 4 tens or 100 and 4 tens, right? Because 10 tens is 100. So we regroup them into 100 and 4 tens, like that. Okay, let's go back to the working here. 4 tens times 3 is equal to 12 tens. To that, we add these two tens and we get 14 tens. 14 tens is equal to 104 tens. So that's the second step. The third step is to multiply the hundreds by 3. Now we have five hundreds. We multiply that by 3 and we get three sets of five hundreds. That's altogether fifteen hundreds. Now fifteen hundreds is what we get from multiplication and we know that we have one extra hundred here that we carried over when we regroup the tens in the previous step. So what do we have all together? All together we have 15 plus 1 and that's equal to 16. So we have 16 hundreds. Now 16 hundreds again need to be regrouped. And this time we regroup 10 hundreds to form a thousand. Okay, like that. And we are left with 6 hundreds. So there you go. So we have 6 hundreds and we have 1000. So let's go back to the working here. 500 times 3 is 1500 plus 100 is 1600 and that's 1600. All right, let's summarize the steps. So 547 times 3. First of all, we multiply the ones by 3. So 7 ones times 3 is 21 ones. We keep the 1 in the ones place and we carry over the 2 to the tens place. Next step is to multiply the tens by 3. So 4 tens times 3 is 12 tens 
plus 2 tenths is equal to 14 tenths. We keep the 4 in the tenths place and we carry over the 1 to the hundreds place. Next, we multiply the 5 hundreds by 3 and we get 15 hundreds. To that, we add this 100, the carried over 100, and we get 15 plus 1, which is 16. Okay, so that is equal to 1,600. So the answer then is 1,641. So Ryan has 1,641 cards in all. Well, that's the end of this lesson. For more such questions, practice exercises and worksheets, visit my.homecampus.com.sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.